All right, Danielle it, is in, and would you concur with that? Yeah, forecast? so it might not look quite as impressive as <laughs> it's that. It's incredible. Because that's unreal, but uh, it'll probably be still a decent show in the sky, and guess what? Mm. Clear skies after 10 p.m. Perfect. So if you do want to head out there, and hey, it's long weekend, yeah. so if you don't get sleep, no big deal. Sleep in in the morning if you don't have young kids and can do that. Okay, 11 degrees is the current temperature. So we're on the chilly side still. Winds out of the north, so it's a chilly wind. If you were outside, you felt it. It certainly feels a chilly fall day today. Downtown, we're sitting at 12 degrees. And Big Four Motors, Calgary's original Jeep store and more in Taza Park, is also at 12 right now. All right, looking at those next 24 hours, we're gonna get even cooler. Overnight, wind chill of minus six. So if you are headed out to check out the Northern Lights, bun up. Minus 4 at 8 a.m. is what it will feel like with the wind chill. A high of 13 for tomorrow afternoon, but we're looking at a good chunk of sunshine uh, for the day tomorrow, and then we will warm up significantly after tomorrow. Here's is still looking as good as we thought. It's here. I already feel like I'm on oh. Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm going to try and do a couple forecasts here before I leave for, okay. the, for the long Thank weekend. Thank you very much. We the beautiful it. weather <laughs> that we're going to have. And I, I, I have to say this. Next week, uh, later in the week, there is some snowfall in the forecast. Now, this is a long ways away, but I just want to alert you to the fact of we have really nice weather for this Thanksgiving long weekend, so enjoy this. Enjoy this. Yeah, it's a little chillier today. Here's your Capital Chef Sky Cam. It's a little chillier today. We did have the clouds roll in too this afternoon. Um, we're just sitting at 11 degrees right now in Calgary, 12 in Banff. So it's warmer in Banff than in Calgary at the moment. It's 12 in Edmonton and uh, into those mid-teens for Brooks and Medicine Hat, higher teens for Lethbridge and Milk River and Pincher Creek. So we're going to get significantly warmer than this. We have some instability right now, which is why we've seen some cloud cover move through but we have a ridge of high pressure that is starting to build its way in and we're going to be locked in that pattern for pretty much all of long weekend so temperatures will be able to climb significantly plus it will protect us from any sort of active weather so a lot of people driving to friends friendsgiving family for thanksgiving um, are going to be really not contending with much now by monday a little bit of a different story so let me just play this through if you plan on checking out the northern lights tonight uh, it should be a decent show out there and as you can see the skies clear out of calgary uh, closer to 10 p.m so this sets, a, sets us up for a nice little uh, view out there if you want to stay up late and do that. All right, for Saturday, mainly sunny with some cloudy periods. Sunday, as you can see by your timestamp up above, also mainly sunny with just a few cloudy periods as well. So Saturday and Sunday looking very stable, very bright, and temperatures will be climbing. Uh, as we get into Monday, though, this ridge, this pattern is going to change a little bit. And so we will likely notice some cloud cover rolling in by Monday afternoon into Calgary, into the foothills. Also, this this will likely come with some gustier conditions in the afternoon. Small chance of some isolated showers along the foothills. And we may even see a little sprinkle in Calgary. Smaller chance of that. But uh, Monday later in the day, the conditions will change. And this is why. Here's that upper air analysis. We are basically have two big upper level lows. And they're going to be stuck in place, which is going to allow this ridge to be stuck in place for pretty much all of long weekend. But I want to fast forward this and show you Monday. And you can see the winds will accelerate over southern Alberta on Monday, so it will get a little gustier and that ridge will start to slump to the south, which will allow some clouds to roll in as well. All right, Capital Chef five day forecast, 13 for tomorrow. Uh, again, in the morning, pretty chilly. With the wind chill at 8 a.m., it'll feel more like minus four. So. Cold start to the day, warming up nicely with bright skies on, on Saturday in the afternoon. 21 by Sunday, uh, about 23 by Monday, Thanksgiving Monday. And then next week we get into a very different weather pattern, starting off with cloud cover for Tuesday and Wednesday, and temperatures will slowly decline as well. Okay, maybe not quite as hot as a turkey, but mm -hmm. you know, the point is it's going to be pretty warm out there. Yeah. And um, if you want to check out the Northern Lights, I mean, mm. last night you could have seen it in the city. You normally you have to escape the lights, right? You didn't have to. You were able, you know, didn't have to. You could just look mm -hmm. out your window in Calgary and you could have seen quite a show. Free fireworks, everybody. Uh, you could see a bit of a show tonight as well. And the clouds will be clearing out uh, after 10 p.m.
All right, currently 11 degrees. Today's high was 12, which is pretty much where we should be for this time of year. Normal is 13. And of course, nowhere near breaking a record of 29.4 on this day. Capital Chev three day Thanksgiving forecast. Yes, cold to start at 8 a.m. minus four is what it will feel like with the wind chill. High of 13 tomorrow, 21 for Sunday, 23 for Monday, but a little more cloud cover, a little more wind later on Monday. Thanks very much. Let's get a peek at our long weekend forecast. Danielle joining us now. It's a pretty perfect fall weekend ahead. Yeah, we are. We should be very thankful for this long weekend forecast because the weather will continue to climb. So temperatures will be warm. We're looking at lots of sunshine. Overall, really nice weather to go for, visit friends and family and all the stuff that we do for Thanksgiving long weekend. All right, 11 degrees is our current temperature. There is a cool breeze right now out of the north at around 17 kilometers per hour. Um, as we go through the evening hours, if you do want to check the sky out for the northern light show again it probably won't be quite as crazy as last night but uh, the clouds will clear after 9 10 p.m. that will give us a, a nice view of the sky tonight uh, key thing to mention for tomorrow still cold in the morning with the wind chill it will feel like minus four at 8 a.m. to put that in perspective this morning it felt like minus two at 8 a.m. so similar tomorrow to what we had today looking at a high of 13 in the afternoon lots of sunshine throughout the day and it will get much warmer than 13 in the long range forecast i'll show you that coming up tara thank you danielle i bet your inbox was chock full of aurora borealis pictures when you got in today it sure was it's <laughs> fully full i can't even receive any more emails because we have the best viewers in the world that send us the most amazing pictures and i'll show hopefully a couple of them by the end of the show all right uh Speaking of which, last night you could really, in Calgary, even though we have all the city lights, you could open your blinds and look out and see a beautiful show. Um, it probably won't be as intense tonight, but the sky will be clear. If you do head out though, keep in mind, you're gonna contend with a bit, uh, some cool weather. It's 11 degrees right now in Banff, 10 in Calgary, 13 in Brooks and Lethbridge, 15 in Medicine Hat, 16 in Milk River, 15 in Pincher Creek. Uh, overnight, we will dip just below that freezing mark again. So that means a cool start to the day tomorrow morning as well. Uh, all right, we have the clouds that have started to clear out. We still have re more remaining um, in Calgary and those will continue to clear out. So all the clouds should be out by 10 p.m. which means if you do want to check out the northern lights take a peek even from your window um, go for it all right let's talk about what the setup looks like for our long weekend and we sure have some weather to be thankful for for this long weekend we have a huge upper level low south of Alaska we also have one closer to uh, the Atlantic provinces now what's happening with this is it's going to lock in this ridge of high pressure for a couple of days for us this is going to allow temperatures to climb give us some stability lots of sunshine um, this though I want to show you the weather pattern by Monday by Monday this ridge will start to slump south this will open us up to more cloud cover late Wednesday and also as you can see it will get quite gusty especially Pincher Creek area will have gustier conditions later in the day in Calgary as well all right so just to fast forward here tonight as you can see clear tomorrow mainly sunny skies with a couple cloudy periods same thing goes for Sunday except warmer on Sunday and then later in the day on Monday we'll notice the clouds start to creep in small small chance of an isolated sprinkle and it will get a little gustier all right capital chef five day forecast 13 degrees for tomorrow but again cool in the morning in the morning at 8 a.m. it will feel more like minus four with that wind chill okay check this out though Sunday mainly sunny 21 Monday 23 again with the clouds and the wind increasing later in the day and uh, that nice weather holding out for pretty much much all of Thanksgiving weekend. Capital Chev, Skywatch camera, and things are clearing out. So if you want to take a look at the northern lights tonight after 10 p.m., it should be fully clear, but cold. So you have to bundle up if you're going to head out there. Okay, uh, before I get into the weather forecast, uh, our Weather in the Classroom program began this week, which was super exciting. Weather specialist Gina Martin and myself visited uh, the Battalion Park School. Uh, they were absolutely, these kids were absolutely amazing, very smart, and very, very excited. In fact, there were so many students, this is just half of them, um, that were we're taking this picture with today. So uh, just to zoom in so they could see their faces. Thanks for having us at your school uh, and to thanks for having us and letting us be a part of your weather program. All right, 
into the forecast. Currently we're sitting at 10 degrees. It's been a chilly day today. Today's high 12 uh, and normal's 13. So we're pretty much where we should be for this time of year. We will not be where we should be for this time of year for later this weekend. It's gonna get quite toasty out there. Uh, you can see the clouds have started to roll out, setting us up for a lot of sunshine out there for tomorrow. So for much of the weekend, we're looking at a lot of sunshine. We have a ridge of high pressure and this is gonna allow temperatures to build. So red deer uh, over the long weekend, weekend 13 degrees to start on Saturday by Monday 21 degrees Drumheller going from 14 on Saturday to 22 on Monday and you can see that rise overall in temperature uh, one thing I will say is by Monday later in the day we'll notice the clouds increasing in most communities in the south part of our province and it will get quite a bit gusty later in the day as well all right by Monday Medicine Hat looking at a high of 25 degrees so pretty fantastic for a Thanksgiving weekend forecast 13 in Calgary for tomorrow, 21 by Sunday with mainly sunny skies, a little bit more cloud cover later in the day on Monday, and a high of 23 degrees. Capital Chev, 10 day trend showing you. Uh, enjoy this warmth while we have it because we're gonna be much cooler, especially by later next week. In fact, there might even be snow in the forecast by next weekend at nighttime. Mm -hmm. I think there'll be a lot of Southern Albertans who will be watching curling amongst Cooking the turkey, prepping mm -hmm. the Thanksgiving dinner, one eye on the curling maybe. <laughs> <laughs> For some it's tradition. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so <laughs> fantastic weather to be outdoors, except where we see tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. it will feel more like minus four with that wind chill. But by the afternoon, mainly sunny, 13 degrees, 21 for Sunday. This is a very interesting Thanksgiving long weekend forecast. It's not usual, like the normal way. Anyway, 21 for Sunday, 23 for Monday. Later in the day on Monday, clouds will increase, the winds will pick up, so we'll get a little gusty. Okay, weather window brought to you by Lux Windows and Doors, crafting quality windows and doors for your style, budget in Alberta's climate. And if you look out your, looked out your window and saw this, that's pretty impressive. Now, of course, I'm using a Northern Lights photo. Joy McLaughlin sent this one in, taken in Southeast Calgary. Uh, it looks like the lights are dancing, she said. And I agree. What do you think of that? That's a really cool photo. I don't know how you chose from the dozens and dozens of dozens mm -hmm. of hundreds. Picks you hundreds. Got hundreds. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. Thanks for your company tonight. Have a terrific weekend. Happy Thanksgiving.